This is a Sony Discman from 1992. It is a portable CD player to an extent that it can be moved from one place to another without carefully packaging it first. Nowhere on the player it says that it is shock resistant. Sony does mention the possibility of using it in a car, for which Sony offered a springy mount arm and a mount plate to absorb bumps while driving. This is a Sony Discman from 1997. It is slightly smaller, runs from just two AA dry cells, but more importantly, it has 10 second electronic shock protection. You can shake it, you can walk with the player bouncing in a backpack, or you can carry it in this nifty shoulder bag. It continues playing. What happened in these five years? The answer? A precipitous fall in RAM prices. More precisely, between 1995 and 1997, RAM price dropped tenfold from around $30 per megabyte to about $3 per megabyte. Taking a slightly longer period, in 1998 the price of RAM was just one hundredth of 1990 level. I am talking about dynamic RAM, the kind of memory that doesn't retain data when power is turned off. Cheap memory allows using dynamic RAM as a buffer in inexpensive portable CD players. Audio CD has data rate of about 1.5 megabits per second, 10 seconds of CD audio take about 2 megabytes. In 1990 this would cost $200, in 1997 just $6. Electronic shock protection made portable CD player truly wearable, walkable and even joggable. Here I have a Panasonic SL-SV553J model. J meaning designed for jogging, and here is the waist belt it came with. These days you wouldn't want to be seen wearing one, but 20 years ago it gave you the possibility to run and to listen to pristine digital audio without wow, flutter, pops and clicks. Further models increase shock protection time to 20, 40, 200 seconds. Manufacturers use two approaches. A brute force one would be just increasing the RAM size. Another way is using lossy compression and storing compressed audio in the buffer. This Panasonic CD player offers two skip protection modes, one is 10 seconds, another is 40 seconds, and I'm pretty sure that the second mode is when the player compresses Redbook audio into about 320 kbps per second mp3. When playing 128 kbps per second mp3, the protection time is extended to 100 seconds. But the same technological achievements that opened up a wearable market to CDs brought portable CD players down. RAM prices continue to drop, the capacity of modules continued to increase. Flash memory, which doesn't lose data when power is turned off, became commoditized. Today, $20 buys you 128 GB worth of flash memory, which can store about 180 CDs in full Redbook quality. This is absolutely crazy. I did not have a portable CD player 20 years ago. I switched from a cassette Walkman straight to a solid-state MP3 player. This is MP Man F60. And this is the largest smart media card available, 128 megabytes. It can fit about 2 hours of audio at 128 kbps per second. This used to cost $50. They still cost about the same now on eBay, just because they are not produced anymore. With vinyl comeback and cassette comeback, I figured they got to be CD comeback, and I want to be prepared. So I got myself several portable CD players, which I will review in more detail in another video. I hope that they will not stop working all at once, so I'll have a device to listen to my small CD collection, which I'm too lazy to convert to flag files. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.